851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Over the course of the 2018 Farnborough Air Show, a number of important topics have been discussed in great depth. However, the one that has been missing from the discussions is the Boeing NMA, dubbed to be the 797. In recent years, the 2018 Farnborough Air Show had been listed as the time when Boeing would officially launch the new airliner. However, today, five days into the show, we haven't seen the aircraft nor heard much about it. Why is that exactly? In today's video, I will be taking a look at some of the key reasons as to why we are yet to hear anything that would indicate the 797 launch is imminent. Firstly, there's the key reason which is perfection. Boeing want to absolutely ace this aircraft and make it one that will live up to its market potential, which indicates 4,000 units could be sold over the course of its life. While market analyses aren't always accurate, they are the best thing we have to determine the potential success rate of a new aircraft. With possibly 4,000 units being sold, Boeing want to perfect this aircraft in every way possible. This ranges from the variance on offer, to the cabin features, to the cockpit, to its fuel efficiency, and so much more. In turn, perfecting all of these aspects will hopefully lead more customers into purchasing the aircraft in the near future. Secondly, there's the behind-the-scenes work, which does tie into my first reason. The 797 is going to dive straight into the middle-of-the-market airliner sector. This is currently being dominated by the Airbus A321neo series. Boeing, at this point in time, are currently calculating the cost to develop this NMA, and then what price they can sell the aircraft for. After all, Boeing don't want this aircraft to be ridiculously priced. The point of this middle-of-the-market airliner is to have it be accessible to a wide range of airlines, big and small. The calculations ultimately take time and indicate to us just how much work is going into the program. An aviation analyst with Air Insight Research said it wasn't a race to get the aircraft out, but rather a race to crush the costs, essentially highlighting how while Boeing are working with a strict time frame to release the jet, their main concern is the costs that are associated with the airliner. Engines are the next thing which have really prevented us from seeing the Boeing 797. While it has now been emphasised by Boeing's marketing vice president that the 797 design is complete, the engines have not been chosen and are in the early stages of being selected. It was only a few weeks ago that we learnt Boeing had requested engine manufacturers that were interested in powering this 797 to send in their own submissions on how they themselves would power this middle-of-the-market airliner. The official engine choice obviously wouldn't come overnight, and it is expected to take some time. After all, Boeing did lay out some ground rules that the engine should have, and that included the engine having a 10% improvement in fuel efficiency over the engines which feature on the 787 and 777X. Next, there's the huge number of issues not only Rolls-Royce, but also Pratt & Whitney have been having of late, and this has meant that aircraft have in fact been delayed in terms of delivery. While the 797 is an aircraft that a number of people want to see released soon, rest easy knowing it will eventually be. The expected release date is now 2019, with experts predicting we will see it in 12 to 18 months to be exact. As for what this means for Airbus, well, it is certainly positive for them. Essentially, like any aircraft, and even any business, when you do face no competition, you excel. Airbus currently aren't really being touched in the middle of the market aspect. Boeing are also completely aware that each month they put off the aircraft, Airbus inches closer to those Boeing customers which are waiting eagerly for the 797 to get them to convert. However, that doesn't mean the 797 won't succeed, with reports indicating Boeing were in talks with up to 60 airlines for the aircraft. With an official entry into service expected for 2025, the 797 will likely take the industry by storm, change the industry. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do hope you found it helpful. I'd like to thank you again very much for your support as we are closing in on the big 100,000. I look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh, well,